Prime Minister Theresa May stuck to her guns on Friday and refused to give in to the European Union during a fiery speech just weeks before she is expected to strike a final Brexit agreement. The Prime Minister savaged the bloc for rejecting her Chequers proposal as she threatened the Brussels bloc with a no deal. Tory MP Chris Green, who does not support the Chequers deal, pushed for the UK to support a Canada-style agreement with the EU, speaking exclusively to Express.co.uk. Mr Green said, I'm almost certain there will be a deal. After all, we want to pay £39 billion for this deal Chris Green, I think the Super Canada RC to plus 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 is a very good option. I think it can build upon a relationship that the EU has with Canada, so the foundations of it are already laid out. It's a copy and paste process but the United Kingdom can do so much more than Canada, after all, we want to pay £39 billion for this deal, the Canada deal with the EU, known as CETA, removed 98% of all Canada duties EU firms had to pay. It also boosted European companies' abilities to bid for public contracts. Brexit News, Tory MP Chris Green said he is certain there will be a deal, image, Getty Daily Express, under a hard Brexit, the UK would pay tariffs on goods and services it traded with the EU, which range from 32% on wine to 9 on cars. The European Research Group, urge led by hardliner Jacob Rees-Mogg argued the Chequers' plan would keep the UK tied to Brussels and make it difficult for Britain to strike overseas trade deals. On Friday, Brexit Secretary Dominic Robb told BBC News the attitude taken by EU negotiators was at times obstructive and warned that the UK would continue to prepare quietly for no deal unless a credible alternative was proposed by the EU. In a statement to the nation on the same day, the Prime Minister also said, Despite the progress we have made there are two big issues where we remain a long way apart. First is the economic relationship after we leave. First is UK staying in EEA and customs union with EU. In plain English, this would mean we would still have to abide by all EU rules. That would make a mockery of the referendum we had two years ago, she added. It is something no British Prime Minister will ever agree to. If the EU think I will, they are making a fundamental mistake. On Thursday, the Brussels bloc insisted the UK's position must be altered and it make further concessions on her final Brexit proposals. President of the European Council Donald Tusk told the Prime Minister she will have to rethink her Chequers blueprint for Brexit, saying the plan will not work in its present form. He said, everybody shared the view that whilst there are positive elements in the Chequers proposal, the suggested framework for economic cooperation will not work, not least because it risks undermining the single market. Brexit News, Prime Minister Theresa May addressing the nation. In a defiant speech on Friday, Image, Getty, Mr. Tusk also mocked the Prime Minister's attempt to push forward with the Brexit negotiations in Salzburg with a scathing social media picture taking aim at perceived cherry-picking aspects of her Chequers plan. The European Council president shared a photo of himself presenting Theresa May with a cake stand in a gesture seemingly mocking at the Brexit prover you can have your cake and eat it. The Post also apologized for the lack of cherries, a reference to Brussels' insistence that Britain would not be allowed to benefit from chosen areas of the single market. French President Emmanuel Macron echoed the claims of Mr Tusk, stating that the Chequers plan does not respect the integrity of the single market. Speaking following the informal Salzburg summit, Emmanuel Macron made a shocking statement about Britain's decision to leave the European Union. He said, Brexit is the choice of the British people. It's a decision that was pushed by people who believed in an easy solution, with Brexit, and I say it with the utmost respect for the British people, we have demonstrated that those who said they could do easily without Europe, that everything is going to be alright, are liars, it's also true they left the day after the vote so they didn't have to manage it. 